X-Men movie review. And yes, both sides of this cover have a cool shot, although only the front here has the raised cover. As the public becomes more and more aware of the existence of mutants, tensions begin to rise, and a certain senator tries to pass some legislation on the mutant issue. What are mutants? Mutants are human beings with superpowers that they didn't ask for and in some cases they can't control. Two groups of mutants are fighting to either keep the public safe or in the case of the other one well, we're not entirely sure. The X-Men and the Brotherhood of Mutants. This movie does have its work cut out for it, and all in all, it does a pretty reasonable job. It's got several decades, about half a century worth of continuity. It's got a lot of characters, and it's got a concept that just at its very core, people will have a hard time accepting. It's not about the all-powerful one person who just fights for good. It's a little more ambiguous. And the film does quite well with that. Magneto is our villain, but is he really a bad guy? Is, you can understand where he's coming from. And that makes the, you know, the rivalry between Magneto and Xavier, the leaders of the two groups, is very powerful and it, you can really tell that these used to be the best of friends. The film does try to limit the amount of mutants, at least that we see for a prolonged amount of time, and still the characters are not that developed. The film chooses to focus, as far as the good guy mutants go, on Wolverine, which is a pretty good idea because he's the fan favorite. And he really nicely fits into the, you know, disgruntled hero stereotype. The use of powers is pretty good. We have some very creative uses. And they do make pretty good use of. There's, there's not a single mutant in this who really uses their power, who doesn't get to do something where you think, ah, that's why they're in this movie. The plot itself, some have complained a lot about it. I think it's a pretty good idea, and it really hits the spot as far as the overall theme of, you know, accepting those that are different or you know, trying to fight them in some way. The whole Mutant Registration Act smacks of, you know, McCarthyism. The acting is a bit hit and miss. Barry does not do some of her best work here. Jackman is a pleasant surprise as Wolverine, although I guess it's not a surprise by now since the movie is ten years old. And you know, Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen really bring a lot of charisma to some characters that need to have charisma. You need to understand why people follow these guys when they're sending you to what might be your doom. Now, briefly about the 1.5 edition, there are a lot of featurettes on the DVD, a full-length documentary which is like a you know, film diary, and it's quite good. It's very interesting. There are also about 10 minutes of reintegrated, deleted scenes, and these are a tad awkward and kind of take you out of the movie because some of the footage is used in the film just to different effect or with different sound put to it. And then you can also watch it with integrated behind-the-scenes footage and that completely takes you out of the movie. All in all, if you're a fan, you might be somewhat disappointed, but you have to, you know, accept they're gonna 
start over with a new continuity to not alienate newcomers. If you are a newcomer, this is a pretty good place to start. You can understand pretty much everything from the film. It's also a more realistic approach, less colorful than the, car the comic books, because film as a medium can have more trouble with you know, big, vibrant colors, whereas a comic book, you more accept it. And when they do go for more colors, such as Mystique, who's blue all over, it really works. You accept it as part of this world. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.